Parul and you're watching a video by JustTutors.com. Today we'll be learning about area and perimeter in which we'll cover application of area and perimeter or we can also call it as real life examples or where we generally use area and perimeter in our daily life. So before we go ahead, let's try this question as a warm up. To try this question, you can pause the video. So here we have to calculate area and perimeter of this rectangle. So as we know that area is calculated by multiplying length by breadth. So this gives area as 24 meter squared. And perimeter is calculated by adding up all the sides. So this comes out to be 20 meters. Now let's come to the square. In square, as we know that area is calculated by multiplying side with side, it gives us 144 centimeters squared, and perimeter comes out to be 48 centimeter when we add up all the sides. Now let's see some applications of area and perimeter. So this is the first question, one of its kind, which can be called as application of area and perimeter. So it says that we have to find the area of dark blue part, that is this part in the shape. So as we can see that this dark blue part is the difference in area of big rectangle, the one outside, and the area of small rectangle, the one inside. So we calculate the area of big rectangle by multiplying 8 with 5. And small rectangle is calculated by multiplying 3 with 4. And the difference comes out to be 28 squared centimeter. Let's try one more question, another of kind. So it says we have to calculate area of this shape. So for this, we can add areas of these two rectangles, but we have to make sure that this part, the one in between, is being added twice. So we should subtract it once to get the area of the shape. So area of rectangle ABCD, this one, comes out by multiplying 5 with 13, and this one comes out to be 5 multiplied by 12, and the internal or the interior part, which is getting added two times, is 5 multiplied by 5. On solving this, we get 100 squared centimeter. I hope you are slightly confident with applying areas and perimeter in our real life. So we can try this question here. To try this question, you can pause the video. So here we have to calculate area of this shaded portion. So clearly, it's visible that we have to subtract area of small rectangle from the area of larger rectangle. And by doing so, we get the area as 96 meters squared. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justtutors.com.